Those fighting cancer and those working to cure it came together today to discuss the groundbreaking strides in treatment and care in Rhode Island. Tonight, one local woman is sharing her story of why cancer research has saved her life. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the story. That's new at 530. 26-year-old Bethany Engstrom has had several close calls with cancer. It led to her making some serious medical decisions and to let her experience help others. When she was just 21 years old, Bethany Engstrom had already dealt with cancer in her family. Mom had breast cancer at the age of 46. My Nana, my mom's mom, she also had breast cancer before the age of 50. Bethany says when she was 21, she found out she had a gene mutation that put her at risk for breast and colon cancers, and it increased her chances of developing either at an early age. So she took matters into her own hands. And after the went back to me, they said that I had pre-breast cancer and my margins were unclear. So then I had, um, you know, I had a double mastectomy last year. At the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network's annual research breakfast, Bethany and others shared their stories with cancer. A panel of doctors also shared where they thought the future of research is going. But there are a lot of exciting advances. So um, the advances are saving lives, so we just need to keep up the momentum. Panel leaders say this comes with both federal policies and funding. Senator Jack Reed co-wrote the Childhood Cancer Star Act, and it passed last year. It aims to advance pediatric cancer research and treatments. We fully funded it because you can't have an authorization that sounds great without the dollars to make it happen. Now 26, Bethany is healthy and getting regular screenings. She's also a volunteer and advocate with the network. I turned what would have been a pretty traumatic experience into an opportunity to share with people that may be going through what I went through. In 2017, researchers in Rhode Island received over $194 million from the National Institute of Health. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.